Hey, all you creatures from cyberspace. We're joined here with our regular crew. Me, Garrett, and John. Everybody say hello. The OGs. We're yeah. joined with our regular crew. That's, That's the right. weirdest way to say, hi, we're back. We're back. I mean, you clicked on it. We weren't anywhere, but now we're here. We could have been somewhere. Anyway, Are we going to get DMCA'd for this? Probably. Yeah. We're going to look at the Monsters trailer from Rob Zombie. The first one was released over the last couple weeks. Mm-hmm. I'd held off on watching it because I um, thought we should watch it together. Monsters mean a lot to me, guys. I'm not going to lie. I love the monsters. The monsters as a kid was a big deal to me. It says the, the man cheese. can't even say monsters correctly. Look, it's, it's been a long day. I assume it's the cheese <laughs> that's what got you, the right? Monster cheese is very delicious. You're not <laughs> wrong. I don't know. There was some... the monsterella. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love a good monsterella. Herman Munster is such a fun character. He's so goofy and lovable, and uh, the actor that portrayed him, uh, I had his name in my brain this morning, but I'm tired now. Herman Munster. <laughs> Fritz, Fred, Dun- Fritz, Fred Dun- Fritz von Doodle Strip. His name is Fred Gwynn. I was so close. Yeah, He's also the guy from Pet Cemetery. He was the one, we don't go over there. You know, that uh, guy from the 90s, the uh, same guy. Okay, interesting. Uh, loved him as a kid. I think this program did a wonderful job of taking that 60s and 50s standard family sitcom and kind of turning it on its head, right? Instead of a family, uh, a white bread family, you know, middle class, it's mm-hmm. a bunch of monsters that think that they're normal, right? Yeah. It's, it's showing everyone that even if they don't look like you, perhaps they have the same struggles and we're more alike than we realize. Yeah, if we're you, all the same on the inside. If you cut them, do they not bleed? Right. Yeah. And I think in the 60s, that's... Ooh, actually, I don't know if they do. Grandpa's a vampire, so he probably do doesn't bleed. Do vampires have blood? That's they drink saying. blood. He probably doesn't bleed then. Huh. Regardless, this is kind of progressive for the 60s. It would is, you agree? Yes, it's I would a good agree. message for a program to have. Yeah, absolutely. Monsters are for the kids. Plus, it's a lot of fun. And There's, does Frankenstein bleed? He's technically just dead body parts. Okay. Well, maybe my analogy was wrong. But I get what you're saying, Mark. Perhaps Rob Zombie will show us if they bleed. Oh, could you imagine? <laughs> Everyone was really like concerned because everyone's like, how are you going to do like a hard R-rated Monsters film? And he was like, it's going to be PG. And everyone's like, what the fuck? Why no, would they I want an R? Once? Nobody wants yeah. that. But let's take a look and see what we think. Trailer number one. Here we go. Hit and play. Ba-dum, ba-dum, bum, bum, bum. Oh, that's a wrong TV show. That's Green Acres. All right. Monsters, here we go. Okay, old school intro. I like it. I like it. that. We yeah. haven't seen this Universal logo in quite some time. A Classy. Universal picture. Wow. They don't really call movies pictures anymore. They should. Rob Zombie, the director of House of a Thousand Nice. Is this really in the front of this? Do yep. we need all this? Yep. Brings you the greatest love story ever told. I don't know about that. Oh, I, I don't like the sound of that. Think of it. The brain of okay. a genius transplanted into the body of a Oh, that's the dude from physical fucking physical House of a Thousand Corpses. I like the colors. I really do like they went with all the uh, bright colors. every time he so this is a prequel it's to like the television show? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's what we needed. Munster's origin. Oh, no. Remember what happened last time? He was bad. That guy looks like from what we do in the shadows. Okay. Nosferatu type. Yeah. yeah. For a vision. A queen. True love. And what exactly do you want? Is Herman Munster in there? Who's that guy? <laughs> Couldn't tell you. Uh-huh. That, that's Herman, though. I, uh, I know Herman. <laughs> I'm familiar. I understand if you don't feel the same. I'm just okay. a regular gal living a boring, normal life. I like the fact they kept him in a striped bathing suit. If there's one thing I know... Is you know, when it was in black and white, I didn't really think he was green. Yeah, I, I also uh, didn't think that, but it makes sense. Yeah. Truly in love. The, the Sonny and Cher thing, I don't know if I'm too keen on. Yeah. <laughs> so Grandpa's going to be the foil then. Okay, back to black and white. Can't not say that the theme uh, slaps. It slaps so hard. One of the best themes yeah. in cinema. I mean, I gotta admit, Sherry Moon looks amazing as Lily Munster. Yeah, but man, I'm just not a fan of her acting, so. <laughs> well, the good thing is, is playing Lily Munster is not a difficult role. Oh. She's pretty muted in the show. Fair enough. That's a strange way of saying hello. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to get used to it. September. 
Okay. You know what? I, I was fine. Uh, I think it was monstery, but also I, I will have to say that Mark is the monster expert. So I don't have a problem with that. Okay. I was more worried than I thought I was going to be based on all the flat, like the, the internet hates it. it the seems. internet hates everything. It's because people want a Rob Zombie flick. And this is not a, your standard Rob Zombie flick. But the thing is, if you look at other Rob Zombie stuff, like even back in like White Zombie Day, he always had this kind of like fun, goofy, like, you know, horror, you know, type shit mixed in, you know, with his like darker, creepier stuff. So I don't know. I'm really excited about it. I think Rob Zombie should be able to do whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah. Let, I mean, anyway, like let the guy try something new. Does he have to make the same movie over and over again? Like he's damn. done some pretty, you know, interesting stuff, you know, um, Lords of Salem, which I wasn't a huge fan of, like but that, that was one. also that was also before I thought Sherry kind of hit her stride, knowing how she wanted to act and stuff like that. But I mean, even the Halloween remake, there's parts I don't like, concept wise, but I thought that was great. I, I did mean, like you know, that one. Yeah, yeah. I think they got the they, they got Grandpa right. That actor's doing a good job of replicating Grandpa from the show, and I think Herman, the one I was most worried about, mm-hmm. is pulling it off. Yeah. yeah. In that short little clip they showed a couple months ago, I was like, oh, I don't know. Because he just kind of, he busts out of the door and shakes his head and walks off. I was like, oh, I don't know. But actually seeing him play the character, yeah. I think he's his, got it. His voice and mannerisms were also mm-hmm. like right on. So I think he's doing a good Fred Gwynn there. I think that it's going to match the tone of the show, at least based on what I saw. I just don't know if I want them not being a family, like with, you know, their wolf boy and like, you know, Eddie. Marilyn. Yeah. You That's know, for like, the monsters too. But I just I I know it's the kind of the origin story and you know like them meeting and stuff like that. But I'm kind of like oh man, I miss the whole family aspect of them living all as a family together and trying to fit in because the kids were also a big you know like mom you know how come I have to deal with this at school and she's like uh, go ask your dad and he's like well you see and then we always got some like fun like you know quote unquote lessons and stuff like that from the mon- the monsters perspective. True, which You're I feel like wrong. we're gonna lose some of that in the movie and it's just gonna be more like like. But I love them. You can't have them, but I love them. And it's like, oh, the zany things we get in together. I think that's actually a good choice and because the monsters, right, built upon like Leave It to Beaver and all that kind of that the era. Yeah, it was of like TV the anti, show. you know, Leave It to right. Beaver. But stuff. none of that exists anymore. And the people who are gonna go watch this movie, like, I mean, yeah, there'll be people like us, but like if you think it's a kid's movie, they have no idea, right? They like the Andy Griffith show, Leave It to Beaver, that means nothing to them. That was like sixty years before they were born. Is so, this this program's probably not even airing on any rerun exactly. stations like Nick at Night or anything like it used to, is whenever I saw it, you know. Right. Nick at Night now is like Clarissa Explorer explains it all <laughs> yeah like yeah, shit from crazy. yeah so i um, think it's it's a good idea to reintroduce them to the audience in a more modern way that does, like if they tried to lay like those lesson type stuff i don't think that would fly in 2022 i'm not saying you have to do like the lessons but like i just think the kids are an integral part of the monsters interplay so to lose that or potentially lose that i don't know if they're in the movie we just didn't see them you know, like, I don't think they're going to be. They'd have to but time jump or something. To be quite honest with you, I didn't tune in to see Eddie. I wanted to see Herman be silly on screen with Grandpa. Oh, they were exactly. But honestly, absolutely I love. For it. But one of the things I love about Herman so much, though, is his the way he interacts with Eddie and Marilyn, and the way Lily interacts with Marilyn, who's like, "Mom, you know, like I'm not like you guys because she's the normal looking one. She's mm-hmm. not a monster, you know. Like I, I want to see that because the parents are so much better." at who and what they are because of the way the kids. You know, sure, they exactly. have their own lives and stuff, too. Oh, but poor Marilyn. <laughs> she doesn't know how ugly she is. I mean, Grandpa you know? does yeah. like, like, come with me, Eddie. Let me show you some fun stuff, you know, because like, he's excited to spend time with his grandson, and they get into shenanigans and hijinks, right. you know. But maybe like shenanigans John? and hijinks? Yeah. But, you know, I, I think without the kids, we might lose some of that charm that made Lily and Herman so, and even Grandpa, so enjoyable well, to you'll me. Have to, you'll have to put your faith in zombies' hands. And hope that he does uh, something good with this. But like John said, it could be a setup for movie two, yeah. right? It could be. So too we'll fast, see. two monsters. Or a, a Tubi <laughs> series, or a Peacock Plus, or a Screen Disney Box Prime. or whatever fucking bar- bottom of the barrel <laughs> shit things are going to now. Hopefully none of those things. Um, assuming we're going to get the Dragula, that's the famous monster car. I, they already showed pictures of him. Like They, they? they, they showed the Dragula like, in production. I mean, so. he sang that song about... Back of the Dragula, he drove it around famously to all the award shows when he was in that band, White Zombie. So he was in that band, just dude, White Zombie. <laughs> Buddy, do you know what year it is? Yeah, I know. But do you remember damn. the last time they made a White Zombie album? White Zombie's timeless. I though. gotta tell you, we're old now, so it's it's good that Mark, uh, you know, 
prefaces some of this stuff yes, for true, the kids. True. For the kids. <laughs> All right. Well, that uh, sounds like we're hopeful for it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, generally. Three, three positive excitement recommendations. Okay. Well, that's our reaction to this. We think it might be pretty good. Don't yeah. go listen to all the internets. Give it your viewing eyes to see what you think about it. Don't no, listen no, to everybody yeah, yeah. else. To hell with everyone else. Just listen to the grave talk. Yeah. Well, I'll We're tell the you, only ones that know what the hell's going the on. The internet anyway. hates everything. So obviously the internet thinks it's bad. In three months, you'll come back and say, grave talk, you were right. That was pretty good. We'll be on the right side of Munster history. Yeah. And if we're <laughs> wrong, we're going to delete this episode and you'll never know. You'll never <laughs> hear right. it. All right. Well, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.